Hi everyone. Uh, just a quick message here. Uh, one person just submitted some work. It was a Pages document created by the Pages word processor on an Apple. That's fine. Actually, I use a PC. It doesn't have Pages on it, but Gmail does open Pages documents for me. However, when you zip a document like that, then Gmail can't open it. So there isn't really too much need to zip your files when you send them to me. Some people are doing that to include all of the projects for a given unit. It's really not necessary to do that either. I'd suggest that you submit the projects as you complete them. And let me then give you feedback even faster. Don't hold on to them to submit them all at once. When you submit projects, one per email, it's much easier for me to keep track of them and I can respond much more quickly. The uh, business about zipping files, it won't make your transmission of the file that much more efficient to zip it. But if you do zip files that are created on an Apple, that is on a Mac, and it's with software that I don't have, then I do rely on Gmail to open it, and unfortunately it can't do the two-step process of unzipping it and then opening the file. So just send your pages documents and any other documents that you create in an Apple-specific format. Just send the raw files themselves and I'll be able to read them very well or output them as PDFs. I can always read a PDF too. I hope you're moving ahead. If you haven't started the exercises yet, you really ought to do it. We're in the middle of the, the third week of the term now and things will start to snowball. You'll have midterms coming up in other classes. You don't have a midterm in this class, but you do have assignments. So if you need more time, if you're falling behind, use one of the two opportunities you have to replan your due dates, but make it a practical schedule and then try and keep to the dates that you've established for yourself. In addition to changing your schedule, I do have seven grace days that I make available to each student. That's really just to cover some very small lateness that might arise if you happen to fall asleep one night and then that all-nighter that you were pulling to get your homework done and it's a day late, don't worry about it. Or something comes up and you slip a day or two, that's fine. But if you're going to slip all of your dates, or if the slippage is serious, then replan your dates with one of the two opportunities you have to do that. That has to be done by the withdraw date, which in this term is May 15th. If you have any questions, please let me know.